Usually when I make videos, I do it in my home podcast studio. But today we're gonna to talk about my favorite acronym in the world. And I can't sit still when I talk about it. And that is GWC. What does GWC mean? In EOS, it means, do they get it? Do they want it? Do they have the capacity to do it? Now, what does that really mean? So first off, a lot of people hear a job title in particular. So let's look at a role on an accountability chart. Maybe that's product manager. And people think they uh, want that position. Do they really get it? Do they really understand what that position involves? An accountability chart says for this position, here's our five things. Again, as I've said before, an accountability chart could be three to seven. Let's shoot for five. Five things that you are accountable for in this position. Do they want it? Do they really want that job? A lot of times companies will make a mistake of saying, guess what? We're promoting you to this new role in the company. And they think they get it, but maybe they didn't really want it. And then last, capacity to do it. Now, capacity to do it is sometimes fixable. Capacity could be, frankly, um, intellectual limitation. It could be training. It could be certifications. There's many things that make up capacity. Sometimes you can, you can patch the holes, if you will, in capacity, and sometimes you can't. Any one of those three things, if they're a no, the person is set up to fail. And, and from personal experience, I've actually done that where I have promoted someone who loved the idea. They wanted that position. Turns out they didn't get it. They really didn't get the position. And they didn't, frankly, have the capacity to do it in terms of the skills necessary to succeed. And a few months later, an extremely valuable employee left. And this person was set up to fail and set up to fail by me because I didn't follow GWC. So in the long run, if you don't follow GWC, the person has to get it. They really need to understand the position. They have to want that position and they have to have the capacity to do it. If you don't have all three, you are setting up someone to fail. Now, another factor in that though, the first thing you have to do before you even get to GWC, when I interview anyone, I'm looking at our core values. You can have a person with all the skills in the world, they can be the, the best, most talented individual, but if they don't match the core values that we have on our VTO, for those of you new to EOS, the concept there is the Vision Traction Organizer. I would encourage you to go to eosworldwide.com or rocketfueluniversity.com and look at these things. But if the person does not match core values, we shouldn't even be talking to them. So when I train recruiters, I have them ask leading questions to see if a person fits core values before we go very far. Now, you don't come up and read a core value to the person to say, do you meet this? Of course they do. They're trying to get a job, right? You ask questions to get that answer. And if they pass the core values test, now we move into GWC. So that's my GWC lecture. Go Rocket. I hope everyone that's in San Diego uh, enjoys the conference.